it felt like they kind of started on a good good stretch. Um, Sorry. So I caught the beginning of the question. I did not catch the end of the question. So 133. It's frustrating. Um, you know, I, I do. Uh, the, the Lakers played well. Like, give them credit. Um, Davis had a big night. Um, James hit a lot of big shots. Um, you know, the Westbrook, you know, 11 assists. Um, but, you know, to, to give up four 30-point quarters and 132 total, um, or 133, I guess, um, you know, that's, that's not going to be good enough. I think Westbrook had eight assists in the first half. Just what did you see from him getting loose in that first half? Um, yeah, you know, I mean, we looked at a couple at halftime where we just, you know, uh, we lost some vision, lost, um, you know, he got to the paint and found a couple shooters. Um, you know, he was aggressive. Uh, they were finding Davis in the role game. Um, you know, it's, it was a little bit of everything it felt like. Um, you know, as far as his assists and, you know, us, uh, you know, we need to flip that script. Um, but, you know, they were, they executed better than us um, offensively compared to our defense. Uh, LeBron and AD, two great players, obviously, but that pick and roll game that they had going, I know you threw a small ball look at it. You threw multiple defenders at it. Just what did they have going that you guys couldn't stop? Yeah, you know, I mean, uh, you know, they're just the, the physicality, you know, LeBron can get to spots that are tough. Um, you know, we like you said, we threw a, a, several different looks at him. You know, when when uh, when Davis, you know, hits the two second half threes, um, you know, one of them out of that environment, um, you know, that was that was probably, um, you know, something that, you know, we probably uh, just based on, you know, what's happened so far this year, that's that's probably not a bad situation, but he knocked it down. He knocked down the corner three, um, good screen, good pass, good execution by them. So, um, you know, those, you know, along with everything else Anthony Davis did tonight, you know, those two threes, you know, in some ways were um, as timely and as costly as any. Coach, late in the game, what did you think of the looks that you all got that, that Grayson, oh, it looked open to me, but wondering your thoughts and then drew off the Westbrook misses. Yeah, no, you know, Grayson got a good look, good execution, good screening. Um, you know, we'll live with that shot all the time. Um, and, and Drew's similar. You know, I think, uh, you know, th we got the kick ahead playing against a defense that's not set. Um, you know, Drew, kind of a good rhythm shot for him. You know, it was contested. Um, but, you know, I think, you know, Drew was 6 for 12 tonight. He was feeling it. Um, so I think a, a pretty good look. Um, you know, but, uh, you know, we weren't able to knock either one of those down. And then for Chris, he's got 10 points in the first half. Uh, he hasn't played an NBA game in, in seven months. So with that in mind, just what do you think of what he was able to do? Yeah, I mean, you know, it's it's tough when we, lo when we lose. Um, I think everybody's frustrated. But, you know, to have Chris Middleton back is huge for us. Big picture, long term. Um, you know, pretty impressive how kind of seamlessly he got back into the game, um, both ends of the court. Um, you know, we talk a lot about how Chris, he's just a basketball player, he's a smart player, um, you know, just understands the game, you know, not over-reliant on athleticism or things like that. So for him to come back and be able to just kind of um, catch a good rhythm, um, you know, it's I'm sure it's, it's uh, you know, he's got to keep working, we got to keep working, but a big, big step for us tonight to get Chris Milton back. Uh, were you surprised that they called the uh, violation on Giannis for the free throw? And did you have a convo with the ref at all? I did not have a conversation with the referee. Um, you know, I'm not going to say I, I don't, you know, surprised or not surprised if, if he went over 10 seconds and they called it, then it's the correct call. If he was under 10 seconds, then it's not the correct call. And I, I haven't looked at it. I don't know. So. You know, they, they got a call on uh, the game, and I'm not going to, at least right now, I have no really comment. You know, if we look at it and he didn't take more than 10, then, uh, you know, that'd be frustrating. But um, I don't have much more to say. Uh, Giannis and Brooke both had big blocks in that fourth quarter. I know it didn't go well defensively, but what did you think of, I guess, the effort defense? It didn't seem like it went anywhere. Yeah, you know, I mean, we, you know, we were kind of battling. Um, you know, it felt like we got down. 
you know, early, but those those blocks, the crowd went crazy, the arena's going crazy. Felt like we, you know, did something good on the other end. And um, you know, that's when we're at our best, you know, um when Giannis and Brooke are active and they're blocking shots and we're playing off of it. Um you know, Giannis is that was just, you know, I think to see his athleticism on display, to see the ground he covered, um, you know, his competitiveness, those plays are just, you know, that's what we need is that kind of competitiveness, that kind of fire. Um, and, you know, it, it, like I said, the Lakers played great tonight. There's no doubt they played, they played really, really good. Um, I think we can be better defensively. Uh, is there a plan for Chris to sit out tomorrow night or anything as you guys try to bring him back? Um, you know, we'll talk about it on the plane, but, you know, my guess is he will not play the back-to-back. Um, so, but, uh, you know, we'll, we'll just kind of get together as a group and um, talk about it and make a decision. All right, thanks.